Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Monday, the 16th of April, and this is my quick weekly look at the S&P E-mini futures. So let's just go back just to remind ourselves how the trend channel looks on the weekly. So this is the weekly time frame here. Remember, just recently we've been testing uh, the center line of this weekly channel. As you can see, last week's uh, price action was very contracted, but above the center line. Let's see what that looks like on the daily channel now. As you can see, we the previous week we were testing this lower bound, this this uh, su this support trend line here. But last week we moved back through the center line of the weekly channel and closed above there. So looking good now. Uh, if we can get some more bullish momentum, we are looking for a target of around 2,800, maybe this week, if we get some more price action. And let's go to the 60 minute time frame. As we can see from last week, we, we started to form this shorter term trend line and it did respect that uh, during uh, during the last week so looking pretty good we are again above the center line now those that are trading this on shorter term there's been lots of trading opportunities on the five minute time frame um, during last week as we can see when we when we get these dips and we come back down there are trends on the five minute time frame going north and south uh, we look at the stochastic that backs us up on the bottom here um, there were stochastic trades now obviously you wouldn't trade this off the 60 minute time frame but just to show you there are uh, some really good trading opportunities now if this trend line holds this week uh, we could see we are breaking up and uh, closing this from previous gap if we just zoom out here on the 60 minute time frame we can see this gap up here really we want to be looking to close that gap during this week and as I said before 2800 potentially is a target the moment wave count wise uh, we are in a bullish trend we're quite corrective let me just isolate this bar count here so as you can see now we've we've had this corrective phase we've had a wave one a wave two so now what we're looking for um, is to beat this previous wave one high pivot here around about 2006 2680.50 if we can break that we potentially are on a, for a for a wave three and we'd be looking for bulls in the first half of this week so that's it for today have a great trading week and i'll speak to you all next week